and welcome to another edition of Ask the Doc. I am Diana from the OHSU Parkinson's Center, and I'm here with Lisa Mann, who is our Parkinson's disease nurse. And we're going to talk a little bit about preparing for an upcoming visit. Our first question is, Lisa, how should a person with Parkinson's disease prepare, prepare for their upcoming visit to get the most out of the time with their neurologist? You know, it's so important that when people come to their visit with their movement disorder specialist or their neurologist who's treating them for Parkinson's disease, that they become prepared. Because how the specialist is going to help them is really based on not only what they observe during the appointment, but much more on what the information is that the patient provides to them or that their family provides to them. So it's very important that they come prepared for the appointment with all the information and ready to ask questions that will help them to get the best care. Now Lisa, when should a person start preparing for their visits? What, what sorts of information should they bring with them? I think it's important to prepare after the last visit for the next visit. So your specialist may see you every three to six months. So maybe initially after the visit, you can maybe make some observations every month and make sure you partner with your family members so they're observing you as well. And then a week or two before, really write down in advance the problems that you're experiencing and give detail. Think about when did the problem occur? How long has it lasted? What affects it? Do certain things make it better or worse? And how particularly do the Parkinson's medications impact it? Because if they help it, that'll be information that the specialist will take and move them in one direction as opposed to if it hurts the problem and they'll do something totally different if that's the case. So it's very important to have that information well lined out for them and make sure that you do it in a way that is as brief and concise as possible. That's great information, Lisa. Is there anything else that you'd like to add that would be helpful while preparing for a visit? I do have some tips that I'll call the ABCs for those who are watching. When you go into your appointment with your specialist, remember to ask questions on anything that they're telling you that you don't understand. Ask them to explain it plainly. Secondly, bring someone with you so you have a second set of ears to hear and have them write down what they're hearing as well so you can confer later. And finally, see consultations. If you would like to see other providers, such as physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, maybe a urologist, all of these providers have something to offer when it comes to Parkinson's disease. So please, don't be concerned about asking. It'll help you get the best care possible. Thank you, Lisa, so much for all that great information, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Ask the Dog. And we hope you'll join us again. Um, and if there are any other questions that you'd like to see answered, please feel free to send them in, either through our Facebook page or through our email, which is pco at ohsu.edu. Thank you very much.